Hi, this is Jeremy Venable with J&J Power Sports, and I want to welcome you to video number one of our four-part video series on how to get your 49cc scooter wicked fast. Now, before we discuss on how to get more speed, let's first talk a few different basic items about your engine. Every engine needs three critical parts before it can even run. Number one is air, number two is fuel, and number three is spark. Take away any one of those three and your scooter engine simply will not run. Okay, so what's the first step on increasing speed? Okay, that is airflow. Increasing the airflow that's in our engines will increase horsepower. So the more air we get into our engine, the bigger the combustion we have, the bigger the combustion, the more horsepower we create, the more horsepower that we have, the faster it takes us down the road. So. <clears throat> Let's look at how our scooter engine actually gets air. This is a stock air box that comes on pretty much all 49 and 150cc scooters. Okay, now here's how it works air enters here, goes through this box, all the way through here, exits out this pipe where the carburetor is attached, and that goes down into our engine. Okay. The first thing you can notice about this air box is it's extremely large, okay? Then the opening where air enters is also uh, very small. <clears throat> the tube right here is all, you know, all bent and everything. If you look on the inside, there's a smaller pipe in there and there's all this kind of stuff inside this air box. Now, every one of these things restricts airflow, okay? And with restricted airflow, we restrict the amount of horsepower our engine can actually make. Okay, so why is this important? Why are we looking at all this? Okay, most people may think that air is just forced into this tube and it goes into our engine. That's not how our engines actually work and they get air. This is important to understand. So, this is how your engine is actually getting in air to make horsepower. Now, on top of the engine, you have what they call an intake valve. What that valve does, it opens and it closes. When it opens, it allows air and fuel mixture inside of your engine, okay? So, if your intake valve is up here, your piston will be right below it. So, when your piston is at fully top dead center and your intake valve begins to open, the piston starts to move down. Now, when the piston is moving down and the intake valve is opening, that creates a suction. Now, that suction pulls in air and fuel mixture inside of the engine. So, if we restrict it by having a very large air box and all these different obstructions, we're actually restricting the amount of horsepower that our engine can produce. Obviously, that slows us down. So, how do we increase the airflow to get this extra horsepower? One thing I would tell you, take this bad boy off and chuck it, all right? Just get rid of it, because you're not gonna need it any longer, all right? Here's what I recommend you do. Upgrade your air filter, okay, to a K&N style filter like this one here. Now this here's our J&J Power Sports K&N filter, all right? And this thing flows air extremely well. It's vented all the way around. Oh, it's vented all the way around, so airflow just comes in from every direction. As you can tell, it's a fraction of the size of the stock air box. And if we hold it up to our carburetor, you can see the air has hardly anywhere to go to actually get inside of our engine. We're talking it's just traveling a couple inches, in, inches before it actually gets inside of the engine. All right, so this is the first part of the formula, is upgrading to a K&N style air filter. All right, the second part of the formula is actually your carburetor. Now, what does your carburetor do? When air enters your carburetor through here, it actually mixes the air and the fuel when it goes into your engine. So it's important to have a carburetor that flows extremely well, like this one here. This is our J&J Power Sports Superflow Carburetor. If you have a regular carburetor, this can also restrict airflow. Now, this carb here is, is special. One, it flows air extremely well. 
obviously helping get more air into the engine, but airflow by itself won't allow you to get this increased horsepower. There's another part that you have to have. Now, inside of this carburetor, there's some very special parts. And with these special parts, this helps your engine increase the horsepower and get the speed that you're looking for. So to see what is inside of this carburetor, all right, you're gonna have to wait till video number two, and I'm gonna show you what's inside this carburetor, what makes it so special, and how these parts actually increase horsepower in your engine. So this is Jeremy Venip with J&J Power Sports. I really hope you got some value out of this video. If you would, do me a favor, leave me some comments below, ask some questions, I'd be happy to answer those for you. But go ahead and watch video number two. I'm gonna let you know what's inside of this special Superflow carburetor and how it's gonna increase the horsepower in your, in your engine. So this is Jeremy Venip with J&J Power Sports. Look forward to seeing video number two. Have a great day.